Hello, and um, welcome to a presentation here on um, basically using C++ to create a vector of objects. Um, the example I'm going to go through here um, in detail is basically just creating a bunch of uh, Scrabble tiles or Words with Friends tiles. Hopefully you, you've seen that name, otherwise you can kind of Google it, but you should get a good idea from what I'm doing. Um, just to understand where we are in, in terms of the semester and stuff, we we've have some things we've done and some things we haven't done. Um, I'm, I'm kind of assuming that you already know about vectors and that you already know about like constructors and mutators or accessors or the setters and getters and just the, the basic idea of information hiding and then separating the interface from the implementation. Um, just to point out that we haven't talked about pointers or dynamic allocation yet um, because that would change the way I approach this project. Um, but for now, we're just going to talk about just creating starting off with, with vectors of objects. Um, the first thing that we're going to need is, is to sort of have an idea of, of where we're heading and, and what we're doing. So we're going to talk about the objects that go together in uh, sort of this idea of the Scrabble tiles that I'm going to go with. Um, the first thing is is a tile itself, right? Just, just a little square wooden tiles like from Scrabble. And um, they don't do much. Um, they basically, they have a letter on them like A or X or whatever, and then they have a value associated with that letter. Um, and then there's also this idea of a blank, which really is beyond the point of what we're going to do right now, but, but I'm just putting it in there to be complete. Um, so that's what it is. Um, I, I, tiles don't really do much. Um, perhaps they print themselves. Um, obviously you'll be able to access and mutate the letter and values. I'll have the, the setters and getters and stuff like that that go with it. Um, beyond the tiles, though, there's a couple of different ways of putting those tiles together in a game. First, there, there's the set of all the tiles, right? Which, which would have, like, yeah, all the tiles. There's a hundred of them or so, I guess. I guess we could change that number if we wanted, but we'll just fix it at a hundred, right? So you can kind of think of it as, as the bag that comes with Scrabble, right? You can, um, well, then <laughs> it's not necessarily in the best order, but right, you can you can initialize it. You can fill up that bag with tiles. Um, you can shake that bag, right? You can take one out. Um, a lot of times, uh, you can count the totals for each letter. That's like on the on the online versions and stuff like that. Um, and and then we're gonna again print it for debugging just to see what's in there so we can look at it. Um, there's also individual racks that are held by the players. Right, and the racks can hold up to seven tiles. And then perhaps you want to do things with that, like like some people like to, to shuffle it to kind of look at the words again. Um, you can take tiles out, you can put tiles in. Again, we're going to print it for debugging. Um, and I don't know, maybe they want to sort them mostly because I want to talk about sorting anyway. <laughs> so we'll, we'll put, um, we'll want to sort that tile class rack. Um, so we have the tiles, but but I mean, we want everything in an object. So we're also going to have um, this sort of game manager class. Right now, uh, I mean, in, in, I guess, the full version, uh, the game manager class would contain um, all sorts of rules about the game and who wins and who loses and the score and stuff like that. But, but we, we're just going to use this kind of class for, for testing our tile objects. So basically, the idea is that it's, just, it's going to have the bag. It's going to have racks for each player. Um, and then it's going to do game management functions like starting the game, filling up those racks. Um, it would probably control the printing of the racks, that sort of stuff. But I, I don't want to spend, like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this. I, I really want to focus on, on the array of objects that we have. So, or the arrays of objects, I'm sorry, vectors of objects that we have. Um, so here's kind of the picture that we have, right? We have the game manager, and then there's the tile set, which has a whole bunch of tiles, right? This would be a vector. I'm just putting one. And then the tile rack, which have a whole bunch of them. So, so the game manager is going to, like, take stuff out of the tile set and put it in the rack and, and all of those pieces. Um, and this is, this is what I wish to accomplish. Um, notice that we have, I count, one, two, three, four different objects. Um, so to start off with, um, rather than doing anything, let's just put all of those pieces together put those files and, and, and start from there. So, so my, uh, the, the plan for this video is, is just we're going to make a bunch of files 
and get everything together and make sure that we have separate headers, separate source, all those pieces, and talk about that. Um, so over here in code blocks, I've just created um, an empty, or I'm sorry, the hello world project. And we can see that it runs and, and gives me the hello world project. Um, and what I want to do, right, in main, um, right, in object-oriented programming, functions are, are less than useful, but basically I'm going to create uh, a game manager called, I don't know, GM. And then I'm going to have that game manager start. So that's kind of the first goal. Um, and of course, when I try and, and compile this, uh, it says game manager was not declared in this scope because I haven't written it yet. Um, code blocks uh, is going to. Um, oh, wait, hang on a second. Okay. Uh, code blocks is going to give me some. Um, sorry about that. Uh, some a little help in, in building these things. Um, just, I don't know, to make life easier or something. It can be done by creating the files individually. But, right, we're, we're talking about a project, right? We've talked about that with code blocks. And that we want everything in the project, right, over here. So let's use code blocks instead of fighting with it. Um, so under code blocks, there's file, new, class. And it gives me this wizard. Um, the shortcut for the wizard is we're going to put the class name in. So, uh, right, we call this the game manager. I'm going to use this wizard very little. Um, I want I don't really need a destructor um, or any of these pieces up here. The big one that I'm going to be concerned about is that the header and implementation file shall be in the same folder. Um, just for this example, I want everything in that same folder. Um, yeah, that's not a real project, but I, I want to just keep everything together. Um, and also I want the file names are going to all be in lowercase. Um, so I want to make sure that these two are, well actually these four are clicked, um, clicked. And that's really all I need for that. You could do other things in here if you want to learn about it. I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm just going to create it from here. All right? New class has been created. Add to the current project. Sure. All right? It's, it's both debug and release. We want to leave that that okay so now I have in here new files one's called the game manager h and then there's the game manager cpp game manager h is the class uh, declaration right which is right class whatever with the public and the private and just a semicolon sitting there and then the game manager cpp is where all the code is going to go notice that it put the include game manager dot h up there in the cpp file right because it needs that declaration uh, in order to be able to define all the methods that go with it um, so over here in main i'm going to stick that same one in include game manager dot h notice the double quotes as opposed to the angle braces the double quotes pretty much mean look in the same directory or start looking in the same directory as you're, you're running from, whereas these angle braces say, well, start looking in the system directories. So IO stream is being pulled out of the system directories. Game manager H is being pulled out of the current directory. Um, so now I have, it's basically as if I put the definition up here and then compiling the code separately. When I compile this, right? Um, Oops, <laughs> my my uh, program crashed. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, I'll come back and uh, fix that. Okay, fixed my error, uh, or I'll fix the the crash there. Okay, so we um, when I try and run it now, um, right, this line compile or well, got past the compiler, uh, but now I got an error here. Right, class game manager has no member named start. Right, because I put it in there so I don't have a start so I'm gonna go uh, similarly to the way we had done in top-down design and I'm gonna create a void function called start um, with no parameters in my header file and then down in my code file right, I'm gonna create a void function 
that's a member of the game manager again called start as a stub right now it's not doing anything um, and then compile it right. everything compiled it's not really doing anything um, but it, it's compiling right so so again the task that we're working on is just to get all of those pieces in there not necessarily to do anything with them um, so I'm gonna go using that same method uh, create the other uh, classes and then come back and compile it again so I've gone through use the wizard and created all those files um, so for instance there's tile.h which contains the tile definition there's tile CPP which contains uh, the things for the, the tile um, there's a tile bag a tile rack both with headers and um, source files um, you'll notice in the header files there's a guard block around it like in game manager and in tile um, tile bag and the text it's using here uh, in some way matches the, the, the file name that's in and these are there to prevent um, or to allow you to act to include the file twice without causing an error uh, so that's what what the guard blocks are there okay so we have the whole project together uh, it compiles doesn't do anything but it compiles so we have sort of all the pieces as we need them so I'm gonna uh, move to the next video